Happy Friday, everyone, on this long holiday Labor Day weekend. Very exciting. Hope you're getting out this weekend to do a little stress relief. Um, I'm looking forward to my weekend. I'm having a weekend home alone. <laughs> All the fam is going out of town and leaving me to my my ways. And I um, have heard from other moms, they're jealous. <laughs> I guess this is something a few of us would like. So I feel blessed and um, love my family to death, but also love quiet time. So I am looking forward to that. Um, today on our show, um, we are introducing you to a new uh, mineral cosmetic brand to Beauty Care Choices, but it is not a new brand. It is actually a groundbreaking mineral brand um, from 1994 it was created and launched um, by a mother-daughter uh, team who used their own experiences in skincare to create this solution-oriented brand um, for sensitive type skin. It's normally available in destination resorts, hotels, meta spas, dermatologists, and skincare centers, but it's now coming into the salon market. And we are very thrilled to be introducing you to La Bella Donna Cosmetics. And we today have the founder, Nicole Tracy. Nicole, welcome to the show. Hi. Hi, everybody. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. You got a good plan together for your Labor Day? Yes, you know, we're here in Los Angeles, so we're we're limited on our outings, but we're gonna spend some family time and maybe head to the beach and just relax. So it's nice. The kids are back to school, so this will be a nice long weekend. So good deal. So you're in Los Angeles. Is that where La Bella Donna, Donna is made? Yes, and well, everything that La Bella Donna is made in the USA, but we're headquartered in Los Angeles. And um, so our distribution center's here and our offices are here. Uh, so this is where La Bella Donna was born. So tell us, um, you're Italian. What does La Bella Donna mean? La Bella Donna means the beautiful woman in Aww. Italian. What a great name. I was saying a lot of people say it, La Bella Donna, La Bella Donna, um, but I wanted to say it properly because it does have such a beautiful meaning in Italian. So La Bella Donna, we're so excited. Yes. And so, a lot of our product names are, you know, like you said, we are a mother-daughter owned company. So a lot of our product names, well, most of our product names are named after our family members. Oh, really? So, you know, Katarina, Marta, Mariana. Um, oh, that's great. Yeah, we have different names for, a lot of our foundation names are. Uh, family women. members. Yes. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. So you created this line back in 1994 with your mother. Tell us yeah. a little bit about that journey. So this is what I say. We were clean before clean was a thing. Gosh, I guess, so, back in 1994. I know, I know. Wow. So it really came, this this brand became about for our own personal skin issues. Um, you know, my mom and I being two generations, but having two different separate issues. Mm -hmm. And in 1994, nobody knew about the ingredients that we were talking about. Mm -hmm. Today, everybody is so well informed about what ingredients does and what it does on your skin. But it was our goal to develop something that combined high performance beauty that worked, right? Because we're talking about a cosmetic, right? Um, but had wellness ingredients. Healthier and good ingredients that weren't as reactive to the skin. Exactly. So 1994, so, you're probably just coming out of your teen era, I'm guessing, and well, mom was, kind of has her also it, era, probably somewhere around approaching menopause. I'm only saying that because I know, um, you know, usually the generations, it's so funny how we can kind of hit our, um, our hormonal change times at the same time. Yeah. So you're dealing with one thing, mom's dealing with another. Tell us about that. Exactly. So uh, my mom has always been, uh, in, you know, ahead of her times in, a, in regards to wellness and health and beauty. So Kathy, was Kathy. Always, yes, I was always educated well into my teens about the importance of taking care of my skin from a skincare perspective. And, you know, my mom was, I was using like pumpkin masks that were like smashed up because one of her really good friends was an esthetician. So she was really ahead of her time and 
always careful about what I was doing to my skin. So I never really had teenage acne. I had acne going into my 20s, wow. or my early 20s, I should say. Okay. Because for my summer jobs, I was working as an extra in the TV and movie industry, and they were putting all this makeup on me. Oh. Anyway, I ended up breaking out mostly in this area of my skin, of my face, excuse me, and my mom took me to the dermatologist, and this was like cystic acne. This wasn't just like a pimple here and there. Right. And the dermatologist told my mom, and told me you can't wear makeup. It clogs your pores, it irritates your skin. It's it it's just aiding in the problem. Right. And I did everything. I mean, I washed my pillowcase every night. I didn't use any heavy detergents. You know, just everything that I could. Anyway, I looked at my dermatologist and I said, "Okay, first of all, how can you tell me this when I have all these issues to cover, right? Because we're going out into the world." And then growing up in LA, you know, by that time, I, I, I was a beauty junkie. And I you're, loved... you're trying to be camera ready on top of that, right? So beauty I said, junkie, my... troubled skin, yeah. have to be on camera and can't wear makeup. So I said to my mom, can't somebody make <clears throat> something that is good for the skin, that doesn't clog the pores, that doesn't irritate? Because I have very ultra, even though I'm dark complected with olive skin, I have extremely sensitive skin. So something that doesn't clog your pores, doesn't aid the problem. Anyway, somebody's got it. We got to find this. Anyway, we did our research and there really was nothing. Wow. So hence we were clean before it was clean. And the product that started it all is still our best selling SKU. So it let's is, real quick show a picture of mom. What kind of skin was mom dealing with? Like what? So mom well, I knew you guys had different types of skin. I read up on you. So I want to tell kind of mom's story too, because I love the generational span in which this line is good for. Oh, yes. It is great for all generations, including teens just starting out to wear makeup. And I'll get into that Perfect. later. Perfect. Yes. So my mom had um, pigmentation issues and dryness issues. Mm -hmm. So, and then also because of her skin coloring, if she put on a foundation, about an hour later, she would have a ring around her neck because the foundation would turn color. I don't know if that's ever happened to anybody out there. Like, you know when you put on a makeup and then all of a sudden you're like, wait, it's not my foundation color. My blush looks heavier or it went away. You know, so that's all. It's has all to chemicals and it's all chemistry. And we have a pH to our body that interacts exactly. with them. So that's why perfumes smell different on everyone. Cosmetics exactly. settle different on everyone, depending on what you're using. That's so smart, yeah. So the same loose mineral foundation that's still our signature product helped my skin, but then also helped my mom's skin because it wouldn't turn color on her, she wouldn't have a ring around her neck, and actually provided moisture to her skin. Um, and she has mo better moisture content now than she did in her 30s. Wow. So let's talk about the overall clean aspects of the brand. What were the main things that were super important to you guys that you knew this was what you were creating? I know it was very clean. You wanted to be vegan, soy free, alcohol free, fragrance free, gluten free, cruelty free, paraben free, sulfate free. And yep. all the way back in 1994, that is really cutting edge, Nicole. That's, that's pretty forward thinking. What were your kind of like main things about Belladonna overall that you were trying to achieve with the collection? So our main goal was to create something that had no oils, no FD&C dyes, no talc, no, no talc. additives, no preservatives, no fragrance, you know, like you said, no, no uh, soy, gluten-free, cruelty-free, paraben-free. I mean, our loose foundation only has four ingredients. We don't use binders, we don't use fillers, nothing that can react the skin. Um, and that was our goal, but most importantly, again, and I'm living proof of this, we are a cosmetic makeup line. We are not skincare. Right. So I wanted, to I wanted to create something that performed, that covered, corrected, beautified, colors that last, pigment that's blendable that you can use anywhere on your face. So this is why we consider ourselves a high performance, clean brand. 
A high performance clean brand recommended by dermatologists and med spas after sensitive plastic surgery procedures. That says a lot about your brand. Tell me about your pigments. I'm really fascinated with this. I've done a lot in the beauty industry. I don't know a lot about manufacturing, um, but it seems like that is a really tall order to get a high performance brand with more natural type pigments. How did you achieve this? Well, it's all, we use iron oxides for our color. That's where we get our color from. Wow. And then when we, when, and, and each specific product depends on how we blend it. So our, like our loose, for instance, comes in 12 different shades because that's our foundation. And so we hand blend to get color. Um, it's kind of like going back in time when the Indians used to write on the walls where they were picking up rocks from the ground right. of these okay. vibrant colors. So we source and painting all of them on their skin, right? As like, as like That's badges of armor. <laughs> we, we do a jet, a jet milling process. We triple times it. That's why the consistency feels like silk, but the blendability and the colors that you can achieve are amazing. And it's not a chemical. It's not a toxin. So you can wear this, you can work out with this, you can sweat with this on. It's not absorbed into the skin. It sits on top to refract light so you look better, and then it refracts sunlight because we have a non-chemical, non-toxic, reef-safe, non-nano SPF 50 wow. in our loose foundations. So sun protection is big in your brand. I know yep. that you have a lot of products, even lip products that are UV protectant. Um, which is incredible. Where does that come from? Where, where is that? Um... So those ingredients are the titanium dioxide and the zinc oxide, but it's how we blend those together. So we have a high percentage of zinc and a high percentage of titanium. And the, the again, going back to our signature product, which we'll get into, the, the this product is a non-chemical, non-toxic SPF 50 that lasts all day without wow. reapplication because it sits on top of your skin. It's not being absorbed. So your pores are breathing, your skin is breathing, and you're protecting yourself from the not only the sun, but also the environment. Right. Nicole, you've chosen, and we talked a little bit about this yesterday, to really control and keep your brand very exclusive because of the no compromise in your ingredients. You are yeah. very passionate about that. And tell us a little bit more about that because you're talking about hand blending and stuff like that. I want people to know like how exclusive this brand is and how high quality you've kept it through the years since 1994. So I'm really proud um, that my mom and I have stayed true to the beginning of you know, why we created the brand and what the brand's all about. Yeah. And, you know, the integrity of the ingredients that we use is so important. And we've, we've stuck through it. We're, we're a mother, daughter, still privately owned business. And that gives us the control of not buffering down our ingredients and, you know, keeping true to what, what we are. Yeah, is that your phone ringing? Yes, it is. I do we apologize. do we want to answer it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get them online. Hi, you have beauty care choices. Tell us what's going on. Well, I am going to say hi to Joe, to Karen, to Mache, to Allison, Tobin. Thank you guys all for joining us today. If anybody has any questions for Nicole about La Bella Donna, please bring them up to us. We're happy to answer any questions, but we're definitely going to give you some highlights. So Nicole has planned out some of her top hero products and we're talking about the kind of no makeup look that we're all kind of going into, but then also the process of putting our makeup on to get us through the day with our, you know, keeping our confidence and stuff like that. Um, let's talk a little bit about that before we jump into the actual products themselves. What about what we're going through right now in the pandemic and how can cosmetics really kind of help people either feel in their normal skin or keep their confidence? Yes. So, you know, again, it, you know, 
what we're going through right now, and obviously some people are working from home, some women are staying home with their kids, you know, and there's people that are ha have gone back to work. So there's a couple things. First of all, keeping with your regular routine right now for mental health is so important, right? I mean, you know, for, for me as well. And, um, and you're also, working from home, correct? So what we do is I, you know, again, stick to the regular routine, get up, you know, have your breakfast, work out, whatever your morning routine is, shower, use your skincare, and then, you know, putting on some minimal makeup. And in our case, because we are all working online, protecting your skin from all this blue light that we're sitting in front of all day, just like we're protecting our eyes. I mean, I've invested in more blue light glasses in the last you know, six months because it is wearing, but also all of this light on your skin is, is damaging. Right. And so when I, you know, just putting on a few products that take less than five minutes every day, you know, we call it the no makeup makeup look or the, you know, minimum beauty routine. It just, it, it shifts your mood. It, you know, it protect again, it make you look better, you feel better, but also you're in our labella donor case, you're protecting your skin against these UVA, UVB rays, either from the light above or the blue light from your computer. I was fascinated with that. That um, So we'll jump into the hero product of La Belladonna is their loose minerals. And yeah. it comes in 12 shades. There's only four ingredients, four, and it has an SPF of 50 and also protects from blue light. That is amazing. Yes. So this, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reach in a little bit because some women, Jennifer, are very... Um, I know what you're going to say because we talked about it yesterday. So I have mine right here. This is the end all be all. This is the product that started it all. It's still the best selling SKU. So when you look at the image on, on the screen here, I know this looks like a loose powder. This is not a loose powder. So women do not be afraid. Okay. So I am. I'm one of those girls that I'm a liquid girl because I feel like powders are going to go into my fine lines. Right. But I tried it today and I think it looks pretty good. I did. I was brave. I was like, oh my gosh, if I look old, I'm going to tell Nicole, this yeah. is why I don't do it. But it, I think again, it's all right. And again, it's a matter of personal preference, but I just want to educate everybody on what this is a jar of gold. Mm -hmm. This is all you need. And we ha and I'm not saying I don't use our liquid. I do if I want to look extra dewy. But think of this. This is not a powder. This is a loose mineral foundation. So it only has four ingredients. We hand blend for color. We put it through a jet milling process. Mm -hmm. So this behaves as my foundation, my concealer, and my sun protection. So whether I'm waking up tomorrow morning, going to meet my friends for a hike, this is going on my face before I leave the house. You're this is my sunblock. you even, wow. I go under my eye. I just apply it with one of our smaller brushes. I actually use our foundation brush to put this on because I feel like I have more control. But I just put this all over my face, my neck. It covers everything. This was made to protect people that had acne, sensitive skin, and rosaceous skin, eczema skin, any type of skin disorder. I so, was surprised I did get coverage of my, I have some hyperpigmentation through here, and I was surprised with the coverage. I really was. I was, I was pleasantly surprised. Angelica Cantor is joining, and she said, I love Nicole and Jen. I wear I La Bella Donna daily. We love Angelica. And um, we do have a question for older, very oily skin. What would you? What products would you recommend? And I would imagine it would be this, right? Yes. So this, okay. Again, because it's not a loose powder, it is a loose foundation. Is actually for every skin tone and type. Okay. I talked about my mom with having a dry skin. I had the oily skin with the breakouts, right, okay? Right. So no matter what age or what skin tone and type. So the thing is, when you apply our loose foundation, okay, it covers everything. This sits on top of your skin. 
It is not absorbed into your skin. So as you wear it, it works with your own body chemistry, your own pH balance. And as you wear it, it will, it will alter the moisture content in your skin. So if you have a dry skin, it holds moisture to your skin. If you have an oily skin, it controls the oil. I always tell people when they come to me, what should I do? I have rosacea, I'm oily here, I have the T-zone or my teenager this or my daughter this. I said, listen, do yourself a favor. Do the labella donut test. Only wear our loose foundation for two weeks and nothing else, okay? So if you have a dry skin, you will notice a difference in just a few days. Mm -hmm. If you have an oily skin, you apply this, but then as you see your oil coming through, you can take a, a, just a tissue and blot yourself throughout the day. Don't wipe it off. Or you can use a rice paper or our compressed foundation has a puff in there and you can just mat yourself down. Or you if you're in a salon, a cool blow dryer. <laughs> I use that a lot. You know, I'm noticing though, I'm under all these lights and stuff and I normally do start to feel breakthrough shine coming through and I'm not feeling that right now. And I was a little bit, I, I don't know why I'm yeah, so hesitant. I, That's so silly, I, huh? You look gorgeous. And again, you know, this product is amazing for so many different reasons. We also, again, not only have helped women, but we also work with oncology estheticians, this is safe for women to use if they're going through any type of radiation or chemo. Um, you know, you have to be so careful about what you're putting on your skin. And even our clean category now, Jennifer, is getting so overwhelming. Right. What does clean really mean? Right. And so it means you means four ingredients. That's what yep. it means. I mean, to yep. me, that's what it means. If a brand has that few of ingredients, that's what I, I can handle that. I can look up four ingredients and see how that sits with my body. I can keep track of four ingredients to know if that's part of my sensitivities. I mean, four ingredients is unheard of. Look on the back of your, I will challenge people right now. Look on the back of your foundation bottle and see how many ingredients you have. That's incredible. And this, this guy that you have up there as well I was is, just, yeah. is for travel or touch ups. But also, this is great for your daughters or your nieces or whomever you're, you know, I'm all about education and, and really having those young women learn about what they're putting on their skin as well. And for them, they can just dust it if they play sports. I mean, also, I, you know, again, I, I have, you know, I'm a beauty girl and I have all boys. So, oh. <laughs> but they, but my boys, even when they were babies, this is what the, I used on them as sun protection because we have a translucent formula as well. Yes, and even, I have that here. I use that too. Yeah. yeah. When I'm going outside. Your ears, I have my younger son is a baseball player. I'm telling you, you have to, we live in LA, you know, the sun is out, you know, it's all day. So anyway, even also little the, baby heads, you know, yep, little yep. baby heads. So They're what you're seeing on the screen are the two, two uh, containers in which the, loose foundation comes in. You have the, the typical one that you're gonna use your brush with, or you have the to-go one that has the brush built in. Exactly. So those are the two that we're showing. And the other thing that's so amazing about these foundations is that it we have the non-chemical, non-toxic, non-nano, reef-safe SPF 50. So this is your sunblock. Yeah. This I don't leave my house without it. I have the to-go one in my car. You can go swimming with it. It's not going to run down your face. You just come out of the ocean or the pool, pat yourself dry. I can sweat in this, and I know that it's not going to cause breakouts. Wow. So it really, truly is our magical product. I love it. That is, and it really is our best seller already. And we haven't had the line for long. So I do appreciate the, the product knowledge class here for all of us, including yeah. myself. Um, since we can't all be together, this is our, our alternative to doing this in the salon. And now all of our guests get to join as well. So thank yeah. you so much for being here. And uh, Nicole Tracy, we have the founder of La Bella Dona Cosmetics with us today. So we've covered the loose um, foundation and that would be your your veil your coverage so if we were gonna apply kind of your quick five-minute face to
to leave the house, to get on a Zoom, to just make you feel good through your day. After we did the foundation, well, I do want to just quickly say for those interested in Labelladona, she also has um, the Ultimate Pure uh, Perfection Liquid Minerals. So we do have the liquid minerals available. This is this is a amazing formula as well. I just want to chat a few minutes about that before. We, you know, again, every the base of everything in our brand is our four ingredients. But because this is a liquid, obviously we need to add more to get the liquid consistency. Great. This is like a treatment foundation. Mm -hmm. And you can speak for experience because you always wear this, Jennifer. Mm -hmm. is, I'm a liquid girl usually. This has pure hyaluronic acid in here and a product called dragon's blood. And everyone's gonna be like, what's dragon's blood? Dragon's blood comes from the bark of trees and it's proven to increase collagen production and formation. Wow. So this is why Jennifer, you're getting that very hydrating glow sort of flawless coverage from our liquid. So as you're wearing it, you're hydrating and you're nourishing your skin. That's that's what we try and do with all of our products is to have a skincare benefit to all. And hyaluronic is my favorite skincare ingredient. It's the instant gratification skincare ingredient where you don't have to wait for the changes to happen. You put it on and you're like, wow, my I look so dewy and my fine lines are smoothed out. So to have that in your foundation, that's probably why um, it's a it's a good go to because um, of the fine line smoothing uh, aspects of the hyaluronic. Yes. Oh, it's amazing. And this I has a SPF of fifteen in it. Correct. Correct. So it's also a good um, you know just kind of daily one. Um, even if you're going outside or inside or um, as well, I use it even when doing sports myself. So yeah. And it's, a, it's like a tinted moisturizer, but with better coverage. Yes, a little more coverage than a tinted yes. moisturizer, but the moisturizing properties and treatment properties of the moisturizer combined into one. Multitasking, who doesn't love that, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so after the, the pure liquid, you can choose your foundation, whatever your prime is, and then we'll go on to the Visions of Mineral uh, Light Bronzers. Because I absolutely, I tell you, mine is getting used up, girl. You can see how to the bottom it is. You can do a full face with these. Oh, yeah. So we have three of them, blushing, and then in the center, sunset, and then bronze. And so for each of the different colored skin tones, who would you prescribe each of these to, and how do you use them? So I use the bronze as well. Um, so uh, my, my morning routine is I put my loose foundation on. Sometimes I'll add a little of the liquid. Um, and then I use the visions bronze as a blush contour. I sometimes go under my neck a little bit here. And then I use the individual colors for my eyes. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's multi-use it's, it, you know, again, even when you travel, you only need a few products. You don't need yeah. to bring a full makeup bag. Literally. And, Yes, it, it, and, and the blendability on these and, and the silky feeling, it, it doesn't, it doesn't crease in your, sh in your eyes. It's like the perfect amount of color. Um, and I mean, I'm like you, mine is like, I have hardly anything left in there. That but one, the one it, bronze color that's just about it out yeah. in mine. Um, that honestly, it is the best color. Everyone always says it makes your eyes just pop, you know? So it must be the contrast with the blue that really brings it out for me. But I'm obsessed with it because I do always get great uh, comments on why your eyes look so bright today. Right. And really, uh, you know, any, sometimes I use the blushing, which is a little bit more pink uh -huh. and that, that I usually use. Like, which is either the one closer to my side. Yes, and that is gorgeous as well. And then the natural just gives you a very, you know, clean, little bit of bronzy, but we call it Visions of Mineral Lights is because it truly does light up your face. And, um, you know, we don't use mica, but it's, it, it gives you that very, you know, um, you know, shimmery kind of glowy, you know, vision. And, and you know, we all want to look young and glowy and dewy. I will say though, I, I'll just say it again. I'm one of those that's a little standoff on shimmer of just like, ugh. but your shimmers aren't like that. They aren't, they aren't that really like bam, you know, to where it ends up 
to me making, especially around my eyes, I can't use shimmer anymore. I wish I could, maybe along my eye line, but um, for the most part, I try and stay away, but I haven't had to. I really actually like even the shimmer in here. It's just enough highlight for me. It's, it's just a little bit. It's mm -hmm. not overly sparkly. It just gives you enough but it has the matte qualities as well. It does, so it it's does. It's kind of a combination, and I think that's why it's such a great seller. Right, because you have other products within the line that people are welcome to go to Beauty Care Choices and check out, um, but there's great highlighters and contours and all of the stuff to do uh -oh. a complete over the top, beautiful camera ready face or whatever you're going to, red carpet look. Um, but we're just talking today about just the quick five minute face that a lot of us are just kind of looking for and especially would be the best introduction to kind of the top products or some of my favorite products with your yeah. line. So love these visions and minerals. Um, so I would say probably if you're a little more fair skinned, a little more cooler skinned, you would love the blushing. Yeah. Um, if you're kind of more in the, the kind of neutral olive starting tones you might like the bronze or the sunset either one of those could go for for you right yes it's really versatile it's a matter of personal preference true and, you know i love the bronze in the summer months and then i'll usually go back to the natural or the blushing in you know in the in the fall or spring so yeah yeah, it's a matter of personal preference. And for me, because I'm kind of a makeup junkie myself, I have both and will sometimes adjust to what I'm wearing. You know, maybe yeah. I want to be pinks today or maybe I want it today. I went bronze with the brown shirt, you know, kind of. So it can't even just, can be your skin tone, but even some ways it can just be the desired look that you're going yeah. for, right? Absolutely. So after the Visions of Mineral Bronzers, um, we love those three collections. We have um, just the other staples to get your face. We have the brow kit and yes. I love that. And plus we paired it. We showed the little brow brush that you can get with it as well. These are great brow kits. Tell us how to use these. How do you choose what to go where? Okay. So we have a brunette, a blonde and an auburn. Yes. So there's three of them. I'm wearing the brunette. And, you, and the oh, brunette is closest. That's beautiful. Yeah, so and there's my. Pick your brows are. The brunette so, is right underneath um, Nicole's head, right. and then the auburn is more under my head, and we got the blonde in the middle. Right. So in in if you're going clockwise, there are the two colors. Every kit has two shades. So for instance, come more to this side. There you go. Nope. There other way. Go. Oh. There you go. Stage yeah. Left. Stage left. Oh my gosh. Here there we go. You are. There. Perfect. So, the two colors, one is a little bit darker than the other. So what I do is you take your little angle brush and depending on how dark of a brunette you are, cause you know, there's different versions, you can sort of find your color. And what I love about these is you have control of how you want to fill in your brows. Mm -hmm. I like a more defined brow. Mm -hmm. I also have dark hair naturally. So my brows are very dark. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I fill in and then you use the, oop, let me get it back up again. You use the pomade, which is in the nine o'clock position. You can put that over to kind of keep them in place. Okay. So that's more of the, almost like waxy texture type exactly. product. Uh -huh. And it just keeps them in place all day. So half the time, I don't even have the time to put do the pomade and my brows still stay. And then we've added the bottom part, the six o'clock position is almost like a highlight. So you can put it under your brow or it sort of goes with the eye area. Right. So, and all three colors have a light and a dark version of the color. So you can blend. So which one do you, do you use the the blonde or the br or the brunette? You know, I I just I do brunette, even though I'm more of a blonde. I like a more defined brow myself. But right. you can see between the two of us, even if we go forward, I have a much lighter brunette. So I must use a lot more of the other color that's available as opposed to the darker color that you have. So through the blonde and, or through the brunette kit, you can kind of get the shades of. Nicole's is kind of the darker version. Mine's a little bit of the lighter brow. If you want something a little lighter than mine, I might switch down to the blonde kit. Right, right. These are amazing because I prefer to use a brush 
with a you know a powder application because if you use a pencil sometimes it can look a little unnatural or drawn this is on yeah perfect natural looking brow yeah 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 I agree and I like how yours is very defined as well yeah I'm all about my my brows have always been um it's just because my hair is so dark so yeah, yeah. and I find um, my hair is lighter um, and getting lighter as I get older and a little more sparkly, um, but I'm losing my tails, you know, and that's the yeah. other thing. That's what I have to do is I have a great um, intersection, but I have to then finish off my tails a little bit more. Yeah, this, this, and it's nice because it really defines your eye, right. whether you're wearing makeup or not. I mean, sometimes I'll just do my, my foundation, my brow, and maybe a little mascara, you know, and just go. Absolutely. And that's kind of what we're giving people is that five, this really is a five minute face. You can do all of these steps very oh. easily in five minutes. Absolutely. To get out of the house. And I, it's actually one of my funnest things that I love to do. And I want to have you back and I want us both to get probably like two models and we'll show before and afters of a brow, no brow, because brows just, it's crazy how much it really changes the face. If you aren't filling in your brows, it would be one of the funnest changes you would make to just really freshen up your look. I mean, it just defines your whole face. It really does. It's the, the framing of your eyes and everything else. It's a game changer. It's a game changer. Have, these brow kits, I mean, again, every product we make is, you know, Everyone has their favorites, but for me, it's one of my staples. So I have one of my nurse friends asking, writing in right now, which foundation would be best for wearing at work? Getting breakouts from wearing the mask all day long. I mean, yeah. you too, Beck. Yeah, so, you know, mask knee is a thing. Um, we, I, we've given it a term. <laughs> so the beauty industry, right? So, mask knee, we're I mean, all dealing I, with mask knee now. Listen, I, I, you know, I'll go to the store and I'll be like in Target and have my mask on and I'll be dying. So I, I don't know how estheticians are doing it with the steam and the salon and everything, but you know, this is our new world. So first of all, make sure that your mask, you keep your mask clean. I'm telling everybody that I wash my masks every few days and make sure, you know, you're using the right kind of mask for me. And I believe for everyone, just apply the loose foundation because again, that is going to protect you from sweating and perspiring and getting that hot sort of mask knee feeling under there. And, and only um, four ingredients. And only four ingredients. <laughs> and you know, and again, on your breaks, remove that mask and go somewhere where you can just air out your skin. But I highly suggest just using the loose and nothing else. You know, use your moisturizer, wait a few minutes, apply the loose. I actually, because I tend to get a little rosacea in these areas, so I really apply an, a generous amount of my loose to sort of protect me from that issue. And you're using it as a concealer and foundation together, so that shows you even the coverage with just this I one product with more here. ingredients. And Crazy. some people, some of my clients, you know, they'll use a foundation color and they'll use a lighter color if they really want to white out. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's, 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 you know, I just use the same color. So, yeah, I'm, I'm one that I'm not really good at contouring, but I think just like I'll use two different shades and they're re really usually sometimes a shade lighter and a shade darker than my perfect match. But it right. together blends together for my perfect match, giving those highs and lows without having to be really skilled at it. So I am one that uses uh, two different colors foundations to do my contouring because I'm not great at it. <laughs> right. Exactly. But, you know, that's where the visions of mineral light, you can actually use some of those colors and just go you do your contouring with the same product. Absolutely. And I do. I do. I find myself trying to smooth out this area and dark, you know, create those shadows and, and highlight the areas that are better, you know, kind of. <laughs> exactly. So we've got our loose foundation, or if you choose the liquid foundation, you have your, your veil. Um, and then you have the um, mineral visions, visions of mineral perfect, um, bronzers and then we have our brows and then now we're going to go to um because the brows through your minerals you can do your eyeshadows you can do your you know your blushes 
Um, so this is giving you the rest of the color on your face. You're gonna do a quick brow, and then we're gonna do a mascara. Yes. Right? And you have two colors. We have Dark Earth, which I love. I'm not usually a brown mascara person, but I love your Dark Earth. Or you have black. Yes. And I just wanna say that the applicators are very interesting. So they're kind of different. Are they more like that one or more like this one right now? The one that you're holding is our new one. Okay. We just switched our wand um, a few months ago. Okay. And, you know, again. Excuse our, excuse our COVID tardiness. <laughs> we haven't got right. everything together yet, but no, we're getting there. No. Thank you. So basically our mascara, I'm very, you know, it's very difficult to get a high performance working clean mascara. I have extremely sensitive eyes. Um, this is lengthening and thickening the, you know, the dark Brown is amazing. Again, I, I only wore black mascara, but that dark Brown is gorgeous. It is really pretty. It's for anyone that has, you know, whether you're brunette or you have blonde, redhead, whatever you are. And then of course our black is our black, but again, no dyes, no talc, no waxes, no shellacs, nothing to irritate the eyes. Um, <laughs> I find and that it, dark brown, once again, is a great one for blue eyes. It really pops it out. Yeah. And then I also really like it when I'm not wearing um, eyeliner or anything. It just really gives you, like you say, that just easy five-minute out-the-door, um, refreshed look, kind of natural beauty where you're not trying to really, you know, pop anything. So I always say don't be afraid of a brown mascara because it really is a great natural look. But we do all tend to go to black. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Well, now you now you have the option. You guys can play around with it because it's a great it's a great dark brown. It really is. It's very very rich rich brown, and I think it would look amazing on auburn hair as well. Absolutely. So this is also a clean formula, like you said. Hard to get a clean formula with mascara, but La Bella Donna, if you're if you're interested and that's a, uh, something important to you, which I know a lot of our audience it is, um, this is a great one to try. Um, and then once you get your mascara on, we just got to finish with a pop of lips, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we have two, two different lip choices or kind of two different lip choices. And um, we have the uh, Mineral Light Lip Color, um, which is our lipsticks. And that comes in 10 colors? Yes. 10 yes. colors. Beautiful colors. Mine's Charisma. Yes. It's gorgeous. That's a like perfect it? color on you. It looks so <laughs> great. Yeah, it's nice to give a pop of color. And again, our lipsticks are so creamy and hydrating and have vitamins A, E, and C in them, have peptides. So as you wear them, you're hydrating your lips. Um, and the pigment, again, because we're using the iron oxides, and I'm sure you've noticed this, the color lasts. It doesn't go anywhere. Yeah. So it doesn't Even when it feels like it's not there, it's still there. It's not, it doesn't stain, right. but it does, it's long lasting and right. it's creamy and it's, well, I love our lip shades and we have such a range. We have from the bright reds to the nudist nudes and apricots in between and it's, there's nothing like it. I just, and again, it depends, like I have a nude on today, but I like to wear, mindful red is one of my favorites, which is like a true apple red. Yeah, yeah. You know, can't go wrong with a red lipstick, but the charisma is like that blue red, but it's mm -hmm. not, you know, it's perfect on you. Yeah, I, I can almost, uh, like, like you, I like any shade of red. I am a red lipstick kind of girl. It is my fancy look if I'm gonna dress myself up. It is red, with a red lip. So I just want you to really quick again, go through the ingredients because if you're using lipstick right now, compare the ingredients that on your lipstick to what she's saying. We got vitamin E. Vitamin C, what else is in there? Alla, moisturizing. Yes, so we have peptides for moisture. So again, ladies, I know everybody's interested in ingredients and I know everybody wants to be clean, but even if you don't have sensitive skin or rosacea type skin or, you know, um, you, you want to learn about these ingredients and wear these on your skin because at the end of the day, all of these ingredients are what we call anti-aging. These are all anti-aging formulas. Gotta love that. So, and that you're using great skincare, you're getting facials, you, maybe you're doing some microneedling, you're doing some late, whatever you're doing, 
the you want to use a cosmetic because obviously we all love makeup, right? But these are all anti-aging ingredients. When you wear Labella Donuts foundations, yes, you're covering, but you're allowing your skin to breathe. This is why men don't age as fast as we do because they're not wearing makeup that's clogging their skin. Absolutely. So um, you want anti-aging ingredients and that's what we've done. We've combined that, the wellness and the beauty. And it's, um, you it really honestly, anti-aging, but also nourishing. So at yeah. any age, even at a teenager's age, um, younger, um, if you're just starting out with cosmetics, you don't want to find out what you're allergic to by using bad cosmetics. So why not just start with the good stuff? And it's nourishing. You're putting vitamins in, so you're protecting sun protection and anti-aging for those that want those benefits. Yes. And then if you're not into a full coverage lip, we also have the Bachi Bachi Moisturizing Lip oh. Share. Did I say that right? You did. I'm yeah, very... I figured with the Italian, we got the bachi. The bachi bachi, which means kiss kiss. Oh, lovely. Kiss kiss. We're yeah. learning some Italian on the show today. So these are, I mean, this is a cross between a lipstick and a liquid lip. And we have sheer colors. and But these, it's in a click. Get this right. It, we have a click. They're a click pen. And, and that puts the, the product into the little brush. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. And then, where am I? Here. So Over it's, the other way, Nicole. Other uh, way. There you go. Yeah, perfect. So it clicks into the brush and you apply. And so it's a little brush applicator, not a sponge typically, but more of a brush, right? Correct. It's, it, it is a brush. It is a and brush. the reason that we package this like this is because it's vacuum sealed and it doesn't dry up. And these are our best sellers. So again, if you just want a very, just a pop of color, you can just put this on with no lip lipstick. But sometimes what I do is I put my lipstick first and then I put this over and it really gives you that gloss, like, you know, night on the town kind of look. So I love that applicator too. I don't know why something about like the putting it on and then dipping it back in. Um, it's just different, you know, for me, I don't know why I'm kind of, I was a germ weirdo before, way before we had any of these germ weirdos. Oh things, no, but... I'm the biggest germaphobe around. So okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean... anything with a good applicator that you're not sticking your fingers in and you just gotta, you know, the ability to just use a brush and keep it clean. It's really important to me, obviously, because cosmetics do tend to stick around a little while. I mean, you pay good money for them and you expect them to last a good year, but you don't want those um, bacteria collecting in there yep. as you're sticking your hands in. So, <laughs> well, that is a great first introduction to La Bella Donut Cosmetics, your five minute face. Let's just go through the slides really fast again, Tobin, the loose foundation or the liquid foundation. Um, and then we're gonna go to the mineral um, bronzers and then right. the brow kit. You're gonna finish up with your uh, mascara and then apply your lips. And within five minutes, you're gorgeous walking out the door. And that was kind of my morning routine this morning and it was pretty fast. Yeah, not only are you gorgeous, but you're also protecting your skin from the sun and the environment with the non-chemical SPF 50. So. And You're getting sad. some yummy vitamins all at the same time. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Well, we have some new products to tell everybody about possibly coming out here. I know everybody's kind of packaging and launch rollouts or the dates are a little questionable, but I know you said you we have two new lip liners coming and two new lip glosses in the nudes. So we have a few new lip liners coming. It's our thin original lip liners that um, are in three gorgeous nudes. We're hoping to launch these uh, fall holiday-ish, um, you know, to when you want to just have that very nude look. Um, you know, we always say if you're going to do your eyes, then do a nude lip. If you're going to do, do your eyes simply, then wear a bold red lip or, or a combo. So it right. depends on personal preference. Depending on and, how fancy you're going. Yes. And then we're also going to... Um, be adding to our brush family. Um, again, we this is one of my favorites. This is our foundation brush, 
but we're going to be coming out with some soft, supple, new eye brush collection. Um, so we're going to be adding to our brush family. Yay. And of course, they're all vegan brushes, right? Yes. Yes. Good, good, clean, healthy. Um, good. How fun. That's so something to look forward to. Well, we'll have to have you back and we're going to do some more application or, or demo type stuff um, on the next yeah. show. But thank you so much. This has really been helpful. If you want to find out more about La Bella Donna, they're on Twitter at La Bella Donna or on Instagram at La Bella Donna. Um, you can hashtag La Bella Donna Glow if you want to show off your looks and, and yes, show Nicole kind of how you're using the products. And then hashtag SPF 50 or hashtag clean color are all different ways that um, Nicole can see kind of the work or how you're using her products. So yes. thank you for being here with us. Oh, I was such an honor to be with you on your show today, Jennifer. And we're so grateful to be partnering with Beauty Care Choices. Well, we look forward to, to doing more collaborations together, and we are so happy to have your brand. We feel very privileged as we're not a destination resort, but we're a great, great salon here um, that loves clean beauty, and so we're very, very lucky to be carrying your brands and um, having this time together. So have Absolutely. a great Labor Day weekend. Yeah, happy Labor Day, everybody. Enjoy your family. You as well. All right. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye, everybody. See you soon. Well, she was so great. I hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit more about La Bella Donna and the beautiful.